All right, so in this video, I'm going to go over the sample lighting audit for Energy 101. I'm going to go over um, how to enter in the current use data um, for this audit. So you should have access to the lab, um, and the lab is clearly, clearly described. And basically, this is a sample energy audit with some, some data um, from a, uh, a hypothetical uh, house. Um, and we're going to analyze the energy use of lights throughout the house and then um, also analyze how much energy and money we can save by proposing energy efficiency or conservation upgrades uh, and then also calculate a carbon footprint. But for now we're going to focus on the current use. Um, and I want to I want to um, let you know that if you already know how to use Excel at a reasonably a uh, high level, or actually even a moderate level, um, you're not going to learn anything new here. This is not an advance. This is a beginner level tutorial. So if you're familiar with Excel, how to use formulas, how to use absolute references, and so forth, um, this you may you probably won't learn anything new. But this will help you um, with the lab itself, um, which will then help you with your own energy audit of your house, which you'll do later in the semester. All right, so. This is a snapshot from the lab, okay? And we have a number of different rooms, all right? This again, this is actually not the whole thing. There's more to the lab, but here we have three rooms, actually four rooms: living room, kitchen, bedroom one, bedroom two. And then what we have here listed is the current lighting use, okay, including the the number of lamps, the number of fixtures, the wattage of each lamp, and so forth. Um, and then we make actual proposals for how we can reduce the energy use. Okay, so for this part, we're going to focus on the current use, and I'll show you how to enter the data into this spreadsheet. Okay, so on this spreadsheet, um, first thing I want to point out is that each row here is not an individual room, it's actually an individual fixture, okay? It's actually an individual, right? So there's a, one light in the living room, but there's two lights in the kitchen. So each light in the kitchen has a different row, there's two lights in each bedroom, and so forth. We do that because when we do this calculation, you need to figure out how much light you're using, or how, excuse me, how much energy you're using for an individual fixture, because we have to consider the hours of use and the days that it's used throughout the year, and so different fixtures might have different uses um, on a daily and an annual basis. Okay, so in order to enter in data, I just I need to click on the cell, so left click right on the cell. So we'll start with this first light, the living room ceiling light. So here it is, living room ceiling light. So we have one ceiling fixture with three 100 watt incandescent lamps. Um, we use it 10 hours a day, 340 days a year. So for now, we're just going to enter in the data. We're not going to do any calculations. So you just click on it with the mouse. So power use um, watts per lamp. So it's 100 watts per lamp. Now when you enter in data, you can either hit enter or tab, or you can click off the cell anyway. So I just hit tab, that moved me over to the right. Now I have my data in there. Um, one thing I do want to point out, just to make sure you're clear, you never enter units into Excel um, cells. If I, um, if I entered 100 watts, what Excel does is it treats this as text and not a number, and then you cannot do any calculations with it, okay? So I can go in here, actually, this is a good tutorial, I can edit this. If I, if I go in here and double click, okay, you see uh, the fla flashing cursor, I can actually delete that, hit enter, and now it goes back to a number, okay? Another thing I want to point out, uh, actually a related point, is that the units are included in the column heading, right? So here's watts per lamp, uh, lamps per fixture, watts per fixture, this is hours per day, this is days per year, and so on. So the units are in, indicated in the column heading. Very important. Another thing I want to point out is that anytime you click on a cell, there's this formula bar up here, and it, it tells you what's in that cell. So if it's just typing, so this is just text, right? So you can see that pops up in there. So take a, keep an eye up here. As I click on these cells, it changes, right? Now this is just a number, so if I click on here, it's just a number, right? If I would enter a formula in there, then it would the formula would pop up and I'll get to that in a minute but I just want to point that out that you can always see what's in here and you can actually edit up here too if you click up there and I messed up and I want to change this to 10 I can edit that hit enter and it changes it down here okay so I'm gonna edit it back All right okay so 
So we have 100 watts per lamp. We have three lamps, so I just click on the next cell, three. So I can either uh, click uh, click on it, I can hit enter. I can actually use the arrows. Here's my right arrow, down arrow, and so forth. Um, that is wrong, it's not the type of lamp. So the type of lamp, see I can hit delete too, is incandescent, so I'm just gonna abbreviate it, incandescent, hit tab. I have three lamps for fixture, so hit the three. I'm just gonna hit tab again. This one is a calculation. The hours per day estimated is 10, and the days per year estimated is 340. Done. Now I can hit enter, I can click off the cell, whatever. So that's the first um, data from that we'll enter. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to sort of quickly go through and enter in the rest of this data just so you can see. Um, so we have a kitchen light, 100 watt incandescent, 20, um, excuse me, kitchen light for my ceiling fixture in the kitchen, 60 watts per lamp, four incandescent lamps, five hours a day, 300 days a year. So I just type it in here and we got 60 watts per lamp. This is also an incandescent. There are four lamps for fixture. Hit tab, tab again, five hours per day, hit tab, 340 days per year, hit enter, done. Okay, so then my stove fixture, 25 watts per lamp, two halogen lamps, four hours a day, 340 days a year. So we have uh, 25, this is a halogen, type that in, hit tab, we have two of them, tab again, and this is four hours a day, 340 days a year. Okay, so I'm not going to bore you with entering the rest of this data that's over here, so I'm gonna press pause on the recording and I'm gonna enter it in and then start back up. So this is all very um, helpful. Um, in Excel, and then we can keep track of these data. We can type them in. That's all. That's all well and good. But the real power of Excel is that you can do calculations, and you can do a bunch of calculations quickly. So let's start with this one first. So we want to calculate the power use um, of each fixture. So we need watts per fixture. So hopefully this is pretty clear how we calculate this. If we have 100 watts per lamp and then we have three lamps per fixture, then we, that gives us how many um, watts there are per fixture. So let me um, do something real quick. Okay, so over here, you can see, this is the equation I always suggest that you write out your calculation before you enter it into Excel. Um, just, it's a lot, uh, we're used to doing it that way, and until you get used to using Excel, you always wanna write it out first. So here's what here will be our calculation. So we have 100 watts per lamp. We have three lamps per fixture. You do your math, you get 300 watts per fixture. So our formula is thus 100 watts or the watts per lamp times lamps per fixture. So the great thing about Excel is you can you don't have to do this manually for every single cell. So we need to multiply this times this. So all we do is we go in here, click on the cell that we Okay, so this is our power use for fixture where we're entering our formula. And here, what you do is you hit equal, so hit the equal sign. And now Excel knows that you're typing in a formula and not text or just a number. So we have a couple options. So we need to multiply this times this. So we can click that, okay, and you can see it highlights it and it puts it right here. So this is D9, right? Row, uh, yeah, column D, row 9. And it shows up here. Or we can just type in D9, right? And then we need to multiply. So you use the asterisk to multiply. So it's D9 times this one. So I can either click on the cell or I could just type in F9. And you see it highlights it. So Excel is really smart. It tells you where you are. And up here it highlights. It's color coded. Red cell, red cell here is the red cell here. The blue is the blue. So this is just saying multiply this cell times this cell. Um, then you just hit enter, and there you go. Done the calculation for you. And so that's the same as the result we got here, obviously. And so, um, again, in this formula bar, okay, it shows here, all of these, it shows numbers, it shows text. But if you click here, it shows the formula. If I wanted to go back and edit the formula, I can. I need to click up here in the formula bar, and I can delete it. I can, you know, if I make a mistake, I'm like, oh, I need to multiply this one. I can do this, whatever. Um, and then I can go back and fix it. 
Okay, so you can you can edit as you see fit. All right, but you have to go up into this formula bar. You notice that the 300 appears down here, but the formula appears up here. Okay. All right. Um, so then let's figure out our energy use per year. Um, so go ahead and press pause and think about it what you need to do to figure out your total kilowatt hours for the year based on the information that we have in these cells. Okay, so in order to figure this out, we need the watts per fixture times the hours per day times the days per year. Okay, so it's gonna be watts times hours per day times days per year. So if you see the math here and the way the units work out, zoom in a little bit. Um, you can see that this would be hours, um, this would actually be watt hours per fixture because the days will cancel out the days. But we need to get to kilowatt hours, okay? So we need to add our conversion from kilowatts to watts, right? So we take our watts per fixture times hours per day times days per year and then convert watts to kilowatts and that will give us our answer in kilowatt hours per year. So if you go over here, we need to multiply the watts per fixture times the hours per day times the days per year and then we divide by a thousand. So we click in the cell, remember left click in the cell, hit equals so it knows it's a formula and then we're multiplying this and just type in asterisk times that, asterisk times that, okay. Now remember we need to divide by a thousand so we can hit the forward uh, slash and just type in 1000 Okay, and you see it's all appearing, it's appearing here and here, and then I'm just going to hit enter, and there you go. So now, again, you click here, you can see the formula, and another thing that's worth mentioning is if you click the formula, it'll highlight the boxes again, the cells um, that are used in that formula. All right, so that's how you do f basic formulas. So now I want to show you the really cool part about Excel that's going to save you a ton of time if you have your formulas correct. All right, so when I'm calculating power use, the watts per fixture for these, it's always going to be this times this, right? So the power use of this fixture is this times this. The power use for this one is this times this. This one is this times this, and so on. Excuse me, this times this, right? So this formula is going to remain the same in all the cells, except instead you just need to move it down. So here's the beauty of Excel. If you click on that formula, you notice there's a little box here in the right bottom right corner. So you see my right now my cursor is a, a cross. So if I go over it, See how it changes into a uh, thin cross, so it's a thick one. Now it goes to thin. So what I can do is I can left click, and if I drag down, so left click, hold it, drag it down, boom, boom, boom. Okay, highlights the cells, and then I let it go, boom. So what happened? It calculated, so here you see it's D9 times F9, right? Check this out. Now this one automatically is D10 times F10. This is D11 times F11, D12 times F12, and so on. Okay, so Excel will, if you just drag, okay, if you just drag down, it will just, it'll make these formulas relative to the cell that it's in. In other words, if I drag it down, it's just going to automatically insert these cells into that formula because it has it'll stay um, um, relative to the formula okay so you see d12 d14 d15 okay so this is great so once I fill in all my data and I can actually go back and fill in more data here and then I can drag this down um, and uh, one thing that you need to know is if you do mess up this formula and you want to change all of these you have to drag down again so let's say hypothetically, and this is not correct, but let's say this I actually needed to multiply times this number, right? So I changed that formula. So in order to do that, it, it doesn't automatically update these. You'd have to drag it back down, and then it would update, okay? Again, that's not uh, what I want to do. So we do have an undo button, which is Control-Z or this. And so now we're back to where we were before. All right, so we can do the same thing here. So now we can figure out this is our kilowatt hour sphere for that first fixture. We just drag it down, let it go, and there we go.
Okay, so now we can we can really quickly calculate. I mean, we could have literally thousands, tens of thousands of of rows, and we could insert the same formula all the way down just by doing that. Um, and that's really the power of Excel. Okay, so I'm going to leave that um, as is for now, and then I'll pick up with the rest of this uh, these rows um, in the next video.